So in this video, we will talk about checkpoint release terminology. And normally you talk about major releases and minor releases. On top of this, you also have Jumbo hotfixes. Major releases include major new functionalities that checkpoint want to ship. And this is normally released between one and two years apart. And on top of these major releases, checkpoint release minor releases of this version that include even more functionalities, stability fixes, and this is normally one to two releases per major version. So what is the difference between a major version and a minor release? First of all, a major version has four year support. And this is a big deal when it comes to upgrading because it takes time to plan an upgrade. You need to, well, make the upgrade and the upgrade needs to be, it needs to be stable enough to use, but we will talk about that later in this video. On top of both of these major releases and minor releases, we have Jumbo hotfixes. Jumbo hotfixes is stability and quality fixes, and this comes several times per year. More or less, I would say maybe one per month, sometimes even more. And if you're creating a support ticket to checkpoint to, well, try to fix some issue, the support will ask you to upgrade to the latest Jumbo hotfix for that specific release that you are on to more or less make sure that you have all the new stability and quality fixes for this specific release. I mentioned that major releases have four year support, but before or previously, I would say major releases was very easy to spot. It was like the R76, R77, R80, and then checkpoint broke this trend. So R80.20 is a major release. An R81 is a major release and R81.20 is a major release. <laughs> so it's a bit confusing, but more or less, if you check the, um, the release map on SK152052, this is checkpoint's release map. It states um, when support is for a specific version, what versions are actually minor versions and what are actually major versions. Because when Checkpoint changed this, so it's not only like the R81 or R80 that is the major versions, but actually have the dot releases, it's more or less impossible to remember. Do you need to remember this? No, it doesn't matter. So what you need to think about is more or less what is the new features for this uh, specific versions? And this can also be found within this, uh, this SK. So checkpoint highlights, what is like the latest and greatest within this release, why you should upgrade to it. So for R81.20, the new big thing is regarding zero day IOT assets. And I'm surprised that Estevan doesn't state here, but Estevan was introduced within a Jumbo hotfix, so maybe that's why. But the new, like the big new thing within R81.20 is Estevan. I mentioned that major releases have four year support, but there's always exceptions. So there is like checkpoint lifecycle support. So if you go to Checkpoint's website and search for this, you will find like all the latest supported releases and how long they have support until. But if we check here, we have a lot of like stars. So these are actually minor releases and they have gotten four years support. So Checkpoint has actually decided to treat the last four releases more or less as major releases because they have four year support. And this is due to how popular these releases has been within the community, within the customers. And it has been a customer requirement to more or less make sure that it's worth to upgrade. Because if you upgrade to something, you want it to be stable enough 
and you want like enough time for it. So you don't want to upgrade to something that just became stable and you have just one year left of support for it. Then it feels like quite useless. Um, of course, this depends on what sort of appliances you use, if you use appliance, because not all versions are supported for each appliance. So there are, there are caveats, and this is included within the support lifecycle management um, SK. So if we check this, you will see like latest announcement, you will see software support, appliance support. Um, and I believe that you will find, I think at least appliance support. Yeah, here, so you have enterprise appliances. So you have like, yeah, this specific appliance, it's already end of sale, it's end of support and the latest version, it actually supports its R8040. So if you have this sort of supply appliance, of course you should have upgraded to a later one so you can use the later release. But that's maybe a different video. This is at, at least an important consideration when it comes to, to versions and support and so on. I mentioned if a version is stable enough. So Checkpoint has different release stages. So first of all, you have the early availability. This is more or less a pre-release. Actually you have the beta version even before that, but early availability can either be public or a closed EA. And EA programs is for Checkpoint to introduce it to some specific customers that request to be part of the early availability program to try out new features and give feedback to Checkpoint before this is released to the general public. Yes, there are public EAs, so everyone can download it and try the new features. So this is more or less for demo purposes, lab or whatever, if you want to have something really specific and you want to try it out together with Checkpoint. So the next one is the latest version. So the latest version was formerly known as general availability. This is when a release is public for everyone. Everyone can download it. So this is a production ready version for customers that want to try the latest features. So Checkpoint doesn't recommend you to use the latest version. They only recommend it to you if you need a specific feature set that is only available within this version. And then we have the recommended version. So recommended was formerly known as default version. And recommended means recommended for all type of deployments from Shakepoint. And I, of course, recommend this as well. So when it comes to software that you install on something, first of all, you have a major or a minor version with the latest recommended Jumbo hotfix. So it's the major or the minor version plus the latest recommended Jumbo hotfix that is the recommended release to use. And all of this is available within the SK95746. So as of today, in beginning of August 2023, Checkpoint recommends for all deployment R81.20 with the latest recommended Jumbo hotfix. And today it's HFA24. And it will also state like when a release was made recommended, when it's re released, end of support, etc. So if we check for like Jumbo hotfixes, we see here that we have all uh, resolved issues and new features, then it lists everything. But we see here that we have the recommended and the latest. And the point is that you should use the recommended Jumbo hotfix. You should only use the latest one if you really need a specific fix, so to say. So maybe support has said to you, you need to update to the latest Jumbo hotfix because this includes a specific ID that is a specific fix for the problem that you're facing. 
then you can upgrade to the latest version or if you need a specific new feature. So even within Jumbo hotfixes, there are new features. So not only within the major and minor versions, there is actually new features within the Jumbo hotfix as well. And then they are highlighted as new or updated within this list. So if we check this, we see here we have new, we have updated, and after updated, we have the fixes. So you see the difference. And Checkpoint will highlight what is new and what is updated. Uh, yes, you are aware of it. And if you want the latest recommended, yeah, then you select the latest recommended and download it here or in CPUs on the gateway or management station. When it comes to upgrades, it's important to check the upgrade path and also the management capabilities to manage different security gateways because this is version dependent. So this is covered within the SK113113. So here we have this SK. And first of all, we have an upgrade map. So this means if you coming from the source version R8040, you are allowed and permitted to upgrade directly to R81.20. And then Checkpoint has also put in like, yeah, this is supported until November 2026. And R8040, is only supported until January 2024. And if you see like an exclamation mark or like a four here, you need to read what is actually required to upgrade to this specific version. Maybe you need to jump to a different version before you can actually upgrade to the latest one. But when it comes from the latest or oldest supported version that is today or a the 40, you can jump directly to R81.20. And this is, of course, for both management servers and gateways. So it doesn't, this is an upgrade path for both. When it comes to management servers, so a management server is managing gateways. So if you have an R8040 management server, you are unable to manage R81, R81.20, R81.10 gateways. So if you want a later version on your gateway, you need to upgrade to at least R81. And then you have like, yeah, if you have an R81 management server, yes, you can manage R81 gateways. But if you want to, to manage an R81.20, gateway you need to check this so it says 14 and an exclamation mark here so if we check 14 here it says you are requiring jumbo hotfix 79 so jumbo hotfixes as i said say, said before it includes new updates and new features and a new feature or compatibility capability may you say can be to allow for managing later gateway versions. So you should upgrade your Jumbo hotfixes quite frequently and use the latest recommended version. When it comes to upgrades, you also want to make sure that, well, this is actually matching. So there are a compatibility of Jumbo hotfixes between different releases. And this is the SK164258. So what this SK actually say is, if you have an R81.10 uh, management server uh, or gateway, if you want to have the same quality fixes if you're running R81 Jumbo Hotfix 94, you need to go to minimum R81.20 Jumbo Hotfix Take 8. And this will actually be stated when you do upgrades within CPUs. So this is an upgrade from R81 
1.10 and it's an upgrade to R81.20. Then it says like, yeah, warning, installation and upgrade is allowed, but you need to make sure to upgrade the Jumbo hotfix after you have made the major uh, upgrade as well. For some type of upgrades, not all, you can use something called a blink image and a blink image include the new version plus the Jumbo hotfix directly. So you can go directly to the latest recommended version. This doesn't work for all upgrades, but it works for most. At least you get a warning if you need to upgrade as well. So if you go into Checkpoint's website and search for like the latest release, in this case R81.20, it will actually say if it's the latest recommended version. So in this case, I took out this uh, print screen uh, one, two months ago. And then even if R81.20 was released, it was not recommended. And then Checkpoint put like a highlight. Checkpoint recommends the version, blah, blah, blah for all deployments. So if we check uh, more or less today, it has now been updated and Checkpoint's latest recommended release is R81.20 together with the latest Jumbo hotfix. But I think this video is uh, long enough now. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.